All right. Well, if this doesn't work, whatever. So we'll just record if this doesn't work. Uh, let's see here. See, the thing is, I'm not getting the notification. That's why. I don't know why it's not giving me a notification. Maybe you guys could help me out. Why it wasn't giving me any notification? But if that's the case, I'll just have to film this, and whoever comes on comes on. So. Options. Sorry, I'm just wondering why this the notifications aren't coming on. Let's see here, YouTube Live. Hey Lux, how you doing? Did you get Lux? Oh, seventh keynote. Okay, so a couple guys in here. Hey, seventh co coyote, how you doing? Lux, how you doing? Did you guys uh, get get a notification? Just wondering. No, don't worry, Reese. I just started. Just started. Though I won't be on for that long. Probably just for like a couple hours. But um, I'm just wondering uh, if you guys did you guys get a notification? I think I don't have a notification on my end here. So let me know if you guys got notifications. Okay. So. Well, if not, just a few of us here. That's all cool. Okay, so people are starting to come in now. That's great. Okay. Um, oh, Reese didn't get a notification. Yeah, so. Interesting. So interesting. That's fine. Trying to see here, so guys, just give me one second because I, I do want to share the stream. Though I need um, I need the link. Stream options. Uh, do, 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 do. Hey, Infamous Viper, how you doing? Arnaza, how you doing, my friend? Good to see you. So. I'll, I'll apologize. A uh, couple, couple of things. You know, I'm always saying sorry because I'm Canadian. Wild Wolf, how you doing? Arnaza. So, if you guys could do me a favor, can you guys share this on the uh, the Twitter chat and on Discord? That would be great. Okay, I finally got a notification. Here you go. Finally got the notification. So I'll let everyone come on in. Seventeen watching now. There you go, my friends. Good to see you again. It's been too long, guys. It's been too long. Hi, Corrupted. How you doing? Thank you very much. And Vivian Swiper says, congrats. Hey, 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 Rafi Draws. There you go, my friends. Missed you guys. Um, so, I, and I, I'll apologize to you guys up front the past uh, week, ever since I got back from both trips, from San Antonio, getting back from, um, from San Francisco. It's been a whirlwind. It's a whirlwind. So, um, so yeah, I haven't seen all of you guys in a while, Reese. Uh, so missed you guys a lot. So um, I'm only streaming for a couple hours this morning, and today I promised my wife. Uh, today is a um, what's it called? It's not a non-work day. Uh, the past couple days I have been working on things, but I uh, I couldn't show you guys what I was working on. Um, Vishal, how you doing, my friend? Corrupted, how you doing? Good, good to see you guys. I'm very happy seeing you guys here. Very, very happy. Um, so. Uh, what am I doing today? I am going to be doing uh, drawing uh, the winner of the original art contest today. And, and I believe, uh, hold on, 
one second here, guys. And the winner was uh, Andre, as you guys knew knew uh, from before. The winner was Andre, and Andre wanted a rebirth uh, Batman, uh, so a Thomas Wayne Batman. Okay, so if, if you guys don't know who that is, that's um, Bruce Wayne's dad in Rebirth. Uh, Thomas Wayne, like in the Rebirth version, um, his family got killed and the dad became Batman. So that's what I'm going to draw. Uh, so yeah, it's um, 6:15 in the morning here. So uh, Caesar, I missed you guys too. I missed you guys too. Lux Bird is it French? Bonjour, allons-y. <laughs> Pomplemousse. <laughs> so, so we're gonna get drawing this. I'm also gonna film this kind of like a tutorial, and for a sample for you guys, what what it looks like whenever I do uh, a commission. This is going to be like a standard half body commission. Uh, where's my red pencil? I just took it out. Ah, everyone's favorite part: me wasting time at the beginning and me trying to find my materials. <laughs> I must have put it back. If not, we're doing blue pencil, which wouldn't be good because I want you guys to see this. And again, only for about an hour and a only be going for about an hour and a half. I think that should be enough time to do this. Oh, I could use the same color. So, uh, 3 a.m. in Vegas. That's right, the West Coast. I was really on West Coast time. I, I wanted to do this yesterday, guys, but I took a caffeine pill. As you guys know, I like my caffeine pills. I took a caffeine pill on Wednesday night. And I was going to do this uh, yesterday morning. But I took a caffeine pill Wednesday night was with the intention of waking up early to do this. And then I stayed up till like 4 in the morning just staring at the ceiling. Look it up. Because uh, I haven't taken caffeine pills in a while. And... <laughs> And you know the body got desensitized or sensitized to it, so that didn't work out. Oh, it was my body. That didn't work out. So I wake up up till four o'clock in the morning trying to sleep, and that's the worst because it's like you're up six hours trying to sleep, and I'm like I could have been working on that. So yeah, that is what it is. So thank you very much, Dominant Side. Thank you. So congrats. Thank you very much, guys, uh, for for all your support. Uh, throughout the whole process so so to let you guys know I uh, my relationship with the Star Wars show is not over uh, I will be doing some bumpers for them so like quick uh, quick uh, want to be edited down quick 10 second drawings probably of Rebels characters so you will see weekly um, Star Wars drawings from me mainly because I, I do have a brand new audience uh, thanks to them so so for those of you guys who don't like Star Wars <laughs> stuff, uh, it won't be the whole channel, but I will still have be, be having Star Wars drawings on here, and I probably will be doing something with The Last Jedi a little bit later on, but uh, for the most part, we won't worry about that now. So um, so let me just uh, quickly do my opening stand-up here because I'm going to make this a very tutorial-like uh, drawing, as I usually do. Um, oh, and also for you guys, I will be having an actual tutorial up today, which I haven't had in a while. Uh, it's actually for uh, a Transformers cover. Uh, I can let you guys know that because it's out in previews already. Uh, I did a Transformers for uh, a cover for Transformers till all are one, and I filmed the entire process. Well, not the entire process, but I discuss a lot of it, so you guys can check that out on my channel later today. On my approach to actually drawing a professional comic book cover. That is coming out later today, so you watch out for that, guys. Okay, but uh, uh, but there you go. Luxembourg can't understand, but I'll do my best to speak in French. Bonjour, le, le rouge, le pen, <laughs> le papier, le <laughs> le Batman, <laughs> baton, baton. <laughs> Uh, this, um, I'm sorry, uh, Vil, this is the loudest I could go. I'm looking here, my audio capture, and it is up. So I apologize if you can't hear me. But my audio capture is up all the way. Let's see if there's anything I can do. Hold on, let me see if I can do anything here. Recording devices, let's see, microphone. Yo. Let's see here. 
properties. Test one, two. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I'll try to bring the microphone closer to my my face, guys, so you guys can see. Okay, and then we'll get started. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, Tony. Great to have. Great to see you again, Tony. Okay, so I'm really losing time here, so I'm gonna get start uh, going. I'll apologize uh, with the audio. Okay, take care, Naza. Take care. Okay, so again, this is great. Always wasting 18 minutes beforehand. So let's get started here. Test one, two, three. How are we doing? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So uh, I'm gonna get started filming this uh, tutorial. So just bear with me for a second, as always, guys, and then we will go. Okay. And I'll apologize. I lost my voice when I was in San Francisco, and I was completely gone on Monday. And I was supposed to film a um, uh, me, me and uh, my Mark. You guys know Mark. Uh, Jonathan, to you guys, me and Jonathan, we were supposed to start our podcast. Uh, we were going to record on Monday, but my voice was not there. And you can tell even now, even now, it's not uh, the best right now. So I'll do my best here. But here we go. Here we go. You guys ready? Here we go. I just wave to myself. Here we go. Hi, I'm James, the box office artist. And uh, I'm going to do something special here and... This, uh, what I'm going to be doing is drawing a uh, commission, and this is for the winner of uh, the the win the original art contest that I held on my channel back a while back to say thank you guys for sharing uh, my uh, Star Wars uh, video, uh, drawing every uh, live action Star Wars movie ever. Uh, thank you guys for sharing that video. It really does mean a lot to me. And the winner, the grand prize winner, was uh, my good friend uh, Andre Olenek, and. Uh, he wanted me to draw a Batman, a very special Batman. It's the Rebirth Thomas Wayne Batman. So that is what I am going to draw today. But also I wanted to show you guys my process in putting that together here. So this is the size. This is a standard 9 by 12 uh, Bristol board. And this is the size I am going to be working in. And it's uh, pretty much a half body commission. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing. So I'm going to be using a red uh, color palette Eno LED. Okay, let me just uh, adjust the lighting very quickly here. There you go. That's better. So I'm gonna get started here, just with a rough sketch. Okay, rough sketch here. And and it's just gonna be a very very simple pose. And something like this won't take me that long. Maybe about like an. Uh, I'm only hoping to go about maybe an hour and a half, rough two hours, at the max. Depending what how I feel and depending if I want to do anything special with this so um, so pretty much standard pretty much standard but something like Batman it's not very very complicated at all complicated at all so I'm, I'm here I'm just roughing out um, roughing out uh, the major anatomy here and, and pretty much doing it extremely, extremely quick here. So I want the shot, this shot here, looking up a little bit at him. But what's really going to make a, like a commission like Batman, especially, is the shadow, because uh, Batman, a lot of darkness in Batman. I'm also thinking because I see a lot of shots of uh, Thomas Wayne with a gun, so I might even give him, make him holding a gun on this side here. The biggest part of this will be the um, will be the actual uh, what's it called all the shadows to all of this. So just quickly, quickly roughing this out, very, very quickly roughing this out here, like this, like so. And then I will go ahead and add many details to this, but most of the details I'm going to be add adding once I go straight to the ink.
and maybe for for Andre, I might add just the tiniest bit of a back. We'll we'll see. We'll see how I feel when it comes to this. Um, So just quickly roughing out this chest area here, abdominal area here, and then I wanted to draw all these pouches. So this this is a little bit more than what I would do for a half body commission, just because I draw, have a little bit of leg here. But then again, I might cover it with with cape here, like so. So uh, for his face, I, I'm gonna have like a very um, in well, in the Batman v Superman, Batman's dad was played by D uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who I actually have an affinity for because I actually modeled him. <laughs> uh, when I worked on Watchmen, I um, I did a di I created his digital double uh, for Watchmen for his character, the comedian, in Watchmen. So I I modeled him in 3D, and they used it for that shot where he was uh, hanging off the owl ship. Uh, so I have an affinity for him. I, I know his uh, facial features very well because <laughs> I had to make a 3D model of him. And this is way back in the day. This is about uh, 2000, uh, 2008, I believe, when I when I did that. So a long time, almost 10 years ago. Wow, holy cow. So time flies. So I, I want his face to have the aura of Jeffrey D. Morgan, but, um, you know, it's not, it's not going to look 100% like it because he's going to wear a cowl. So... You won't, you know, you probably won't notice him that much. So, so just go ahead back and forth and just roughing in the major details. I will take a step back from this just to make sure I'm happy with the proportions to this. But just very strong. This will be very uh, David Finch, uh, Jason Fabok inspired style because that is the style that I, I really like. Uh, that kind of dark and gritty style i don't know if i should do rain maybe i won't do rain but maybe just for andre maybe i will do a little bit of a a background here just a little bit usually i don't when it comes to uh commissions but maybe i just will just because i feel like it and then i'm going to go ahead and draw the bat symbol in here but when what separates really separates uh the thomas wayne batman from regular batman is a couple things First of all, he has this red circle right in the middle here, which I actually might shade in since I'm working in red. And he also have the has these little bat hooks here on the top, just like so. But I'm just gonna go here, rough in where the rib cage. I think where rib cage would go here. Always thinking in 3D. Always thinking in 3D. I always mention that. And then my favorite part, the hands. Roughing in how those hands are gonna go here. I just want him to have like a regular fist. Like so. Probably a big fist. <laughs> His hand's pretty big. But that that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start roughing in the face. Now looking at this. And the great thing about recording this is I can actually just look up and see uh, the proportion if I'm happy with the proportions here. And uh, so far, so good. Not not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad here. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and draw that with his gun here so I'm just gonna take a quick look at his facial features here Jeffrey Dean Morgan's facial features I have that here my reference here so he will have um, a beard but he, he does have a skinnier face so I might make his head just a bit smaller so this won't look 100% like him, nor nor should it. Just, I'm just going for feeling, especially since he's going to be wearing a cowl. Since he's wearing a cowl. So 
So again, I'm not worried about lightness at all here. I'm just giving him beard and a cow. And one more thing I need to keep in mind when I'm doing this is the lighting. The lighting is really the most uh, important part here. And the one thing about I love about uh, Jason Faybox and um, uh, David Finch's work is the way they they do their lighting and how they do their lighting. So I might do something very inspired. I might do like a lighting like this. Uh, very, very harsh shadows on this side here. Which is probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to have... I always draw like a little arrow here. Just so I could understand where all this particular lighting is going to go. So again, this isn't the most challenging... won't be the most challenging uh, commission out there because it's not like a transformer where there's so many little things to consider Batman's Batman you know the very very simple you know design but very powerful design at the same time design doesn't have to it, you know doesn't have to be cluttered you know but because of things like that the shadow I know there's gonna have a shadow here a shadow along this pectoral muscle here shadow underneath here shadow probably where the abs are here so I'll just quickly rough, rough that in, like so. Just like that. That's what we are going for here. So as you can tell, very, very simple pose. Smoking gun. Here. And now I'm actually, from here, I'm already going into ink. Already going into ink, and I'll probably start off with a zero one, if I can find one. Yep, I'm gonna start off with a zero one, just rough in like a lot of the details, and then I'll probably go into the sharpie and then refine a little bit later uh, on top, which is sometimes backwards. But I, I do want to get the uh, the facial features correct first and all the little details before I go on that. So I'm gonna speed this up and then go very quickly, and then um, I'll I'll show you guys my next step. So let's do that. All right. This is my signal for when I cut. <laughs> yes. So for those of you who just got into the chat, yeah, I'm just filming a quick tutorial on how I would go about drawing this. Um, so let me go back to the chat here. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? So if you guys have any questions, now's a great time to ask me uh, your questions. Ask me your questions while I grab my reference here. So, I go ahead and there you go. You can start with the eyes here, guys, because uh, this uh, pen's not very good. Did I say you were going to send a message to people that finished the 30 day one day challenge? Yes, Jacob. Um, we are cross referencing. Uh, I, I for the most part that's already done. Um, thank you to my buddy Jonathan. And, and the big ups to my buddy Jonathan. Like he's been he's been present when I haven't been present. Um, but he's the one who cross checked everything. Now uh, let me just warn you guys. Uh, there were a few of you who went into the thirty one day challenge update video, and you said you finished your challenge, but you never uh, told me at the beginning what you were doing. If that's the case, I'm sorry, because uh, that's not fair to everyone who who you know, went to the first video, told me what they were doing and actually accomplished it. Um, so, uh, for those people who just messaged on the last video, Hey, I finished, but you never told me what you were guys were doing at the beginning. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, to me, that means you didn't complete it. Cause just anyone could have came on and said, Hey, I completed it, but you never told me at the beginning what you did, you know? Uh, so if that was your, the case, your case, I'm sorry, but, um, uh, according to the rules, you won't be a part of the mega collab. Um, for those of you who, uh, what's it called who almost finished at the same time, like, even though you're, there were, there were some of you who almost finished, almost finished. And, and that's what makes me feel bad about it because, um, some of you who almost finished, you were very ambitious with what you said. But then again, I did tell you at the beginning, make sure it's something you think you could complete. Um, uh, you said you almost finished, but, uh, you didn't finish. At the same time, 
and it wouldn't be fair to those. You know, you know what I mean? Because at the beginning, I, I said you have to finish to be a part of it. And, you know, it does break my heart, but you, I'm sorry you wouldn't be a, a part of it if you did not finish. Uh, so now if you did finish, and a lot of you did, a lot of you did, congratulations, even to those of you who almost finished. Like, And the whole point of this was I wanted your, the reward to be you finishing or, or accomplishing something, you know what I mean? And with that, uh, so if you did finish, I will be contacting you next week, okay? So it will happen next week once uh, Jonathan gets over here. Like we've been trying to meet up, me and Jonathan, for the past week. Um, so once we do, I will be messaging you with uh, your assignment, with your assignment for the challenge. So that is happening next week, okay? Uh, so, but the, the whole point to the whole project was that was that you would make a goal and you finish your goal. But that was very important that you actually finish your goal, okay? So this whole thing, for me especially, was a, a learning experience for sure on how to hold uh, contests like this. Um, it's It was tough, it was tough and a lot to learn from for sure. But uh, it is happening, guys, it is happening. Now, uh, let you guys know next week I'm going to China next week. I am going to, I am a guest at the, I forgot what it's called, the, um, it's called C, CCG, uh, the International Comics and Gaming Expo or something like that, and I'm a guest there, so I'm going to China, I'm leaving on Thursday next week, and I will be back on the Monday, so the fastest China trip ever, <laughs> the fastest China trip ever. <laughs> So uh, there you go. Will I be issuing a list of who completed? Uh, probably not. I will be contacting them directly. So I'm going to actually have an update video on Monday about the 31 day challenge. Uh, but you will see who completed because they will be part of the mega collab. Okay, they will be part of the mega collab. You will see uh, them because I will feature their work in the mega collab video. Uh, so. Okay. Uh, I may feel straight a bit from what I said in the beginning. Yeah, yes. Well, here's the deal, Jacob. I'm, I'm not sure about your particular case because I haven't seen. Uh, Jonathan has seen it, everybody's already. Um, but if you did something different than what you said you were gonna do, then I'm I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Then technically you didn't finish what you said you were gonna do. Okay. So it is tough because like a lot of you too. Like, cause a lot of you too. I I really want you a part of it because you were like especially Jacob. I want you a part of it. But it wouldn't be fair, you know, you know what I mean? It, it wouldn't be fair because then the question is, where do you draw the line? If to, to the people who almost finished or, you know, where, where is the, where's that line? Where do I say, okay, uh, this guy almost finished, I'll put him in. Okay, what connotates almost finished at the same time? Because I was trying to think of a way because there's a lot of you who are loyal followers who almost finished, but the same time wasn't able to finish, you know what I mean? So that, that's, that was the situation I was put in. I'm like, okay, I got to stick to the rules that I outlined at the beginning. So definitely, definitely a learning experience. And I apologize to those uh, who, if, if you are offended by that, I, I, I do apologize. Uh, but, you know, rules are <laughs> rules is rules, as they say. Rules is rules. So, so yeah. Okay, but a lot of you did finish. And, and again... Like I said at the beginning, the reward should have been you finishing what you say you said you were going to, or even if you accomplish more work than you thought you were going to at the beginning. I could tell you right now, I think out of, we had about 120 entries, and according to Jonathan, as of now, I think only 30 were able to finish what they said they were going to finish, only about 30, so... Um, all right, and as I put it in that video, the, the update challenge video, and that, that's another thing, guys. If you haven't done that already, go, go to that update challenge, the challenge update video that I put out about a, a few weeks ago, and that's where you comment and tell me where we could see your stuff, okay? Uh, because, again, I'm, I got Jonathan to look at all this stuff first and to weed it out because he was the one, like, I, I was this guy a lot. Uh, he, he, um, he's the one who would cross-check everything. He was the one who messaged everybody. Uh, if they, you know, if they weren't clear 
you know so uh, and he's the guy who uh, helped put this discord up as as a lot of you guys so <sighs> so there you go hi Zoltan how you doing and, and also to the those of you who won the the um uh what's called who won uh, the, the the prince those are going out next week okay i apologize again like it was, it's just been really really busy don't worry i did not forget about you and i'm i'm not a guy to go back on my uh you know to say oh you want to never show up like like some of these youtubers <laughs> no 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 you're going to get your prize i just apologize it's going to be a little late uh so uh i'm just waiting for the the printing uh, so once I get that, I will. My goal is to mail those out before I leave for China next week. So you will be getting soon, but I will message you guys once it's in the mail. Okay. Right on. Oh. Okay. How long do we have to do it? Um, if you're talking about the 31 day challenge, your deadline was May 31st. That was it. That was the cutoff. Uh, if you were late, then you were late, you know. But uh, in all honesty, though, you probably could have, uh, you know, kept going and not tell me. That's not very honest. But uh, you know, how would I? How would I know? At the same time, but you know, just be honest, guys. Be honest with yourself. You know. Uh, I. That's the thing, Amas. Uh, the original video, I did take down because um, I didn't want people to go and change. What they wrote that's why i i took i well not necessarily took it down i privated that video because I, what i didn't want was on day 30 somebody would say oh i i wouldn't be able to finish so i'm gonna go back and change it what they could which they could have done and i wouldn't have known that's why we privated it and right because and right away when we had that deadline uh jonathan messaged you if there was a problem with what you wrote okay which he did with a lot of people okay um he, uh, what's it called? So that's why the video was, that original, original video was taken down because we didn't want anyone to change what they said, even though we took what everyone said and put it in a spreadsheet. But we didn't want someone to say, no, no, I said I was going to do this, but then they changed it. You know, not that any of you guys would have done that, but there are people like that, you know what I mean? Which, I, which doesn't really help you at the end of the day. You can't do that if you want to work in this business. You can't. Or you're not the one who says, you know, uh, what you want to do. You know, you know what I mean? So it's one of those type of deals. Oh, how long do we have to put the links in our challenge? Arden has to do it now. I'm taking that video down today. I'm taking it down. Do it right now. Okay? All right. Do we have a way of knowing if work is accepted as accomplished for the 31-day challenge? We will message you. Okay? I'm going to message you personally. All right? And I'm going to do that probably early next week. Now, if there was a problem that needed clarification, if there's a huge problem that needed clarification, Jonathan will be messaging you. Um, but even if if you said, you know, I'll probably message everyone who um, writes in that 31 day challenge video, uh, the update video. So go do it anyway, and I'll I'll let you know. All right. So. My voice is going <laughs> again. <laughs> I haven't talked this much in a while. So, guys, again, I'm probably only going till about. Well, well, honestly, this won't take long. I'll probably be going for another. Well, till this is done, probably in an hour and uh, and a few. Now, I'm trying to think it to myself if I, how much black I wanted to put in here because it's going to be completely black here or not. We'll see. Uh, is uh, let's see. Okay, here. What was the purpose of the challenge, Gene? Asked. The it was pretty simple, Gene. the The purpose of the challenge was set a goal and finish it. That was that was the whole purpose of this thing. And that and that's why like the little prize at the end, yeah, it was like a little carrot at the end. But the whole point was, you know, inspired by me finishing the uh, the Star Wars piece. The whole point was set a goal for yourself for thirty one days, and see if you could accomplish it. That's why the actual prize itself 
you know that it's an it's like an extra more than anything like the prize should have been you finishing what you said you were going to start at the end of the day so that's why i don't i don't know how well the thing with that i was gonna say i don't know how jazz is able to <laughs> to <laughs> do this monthly it's it's pretty insane to keep track of everything it is pretty insane but you know he, he has his rules down and you know it is what it is that point this was very very loose my my rule my set of rules here and a lot of trust for you guys because a lot of you could have you know so yeah that was that was the whole point start make a goal finish your goal that was it and if you finish the goal you were a part you were going to be invited to be a part of the mega collab um but that was the key finish finish what you said you were going to finish at the end of the day you know just like a real world working environment just like the real world working environment you know if you don't finish your project on time you're never going to get work again you know it's, it's, it's how it is it's just how it is so hi copo how you doing Hey, that was inside. That piece was amazing. I loved it. I agree. Okay. This is what separates Thomas Wayne from regular Batman. It's this little circle here. Yeah, so. Hi, Olenek. This is for you, buddy. Hi, Andre. You made it. There you go. Congratulations again, Andre. Congratulations. This is for you. This is for you, buddy. So I'm going to be sending this out to Andre, who I believe lives in Romania, I think. <laughs> Hi, Kane. How you doing? All right. Thank you very much, Zoltan. Thank you. Couple wants me to draw Spider-Man next. There you go. Well, I do have a Spider-Man up on my channel. You can check that out when you get the chance. I did a Spider-Man and Moon Knight drawing that I did a while ago. So you can check that out. There you go. Thank you, Helios. Thank you very much. There you go. There you go, uh, Andre. You didn't miss much. Um, I should be going for another hour, probably. So there you go. Thank you, Gene. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm working on my English skills, too. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so guys, so I leave for China next week, guys. I'm leaving on the on Thursday next week. Though I am trying to get back to daily videos on my channel. Um, so we'll see. I always say that. I always say I'm going to get back to the vlogging, too, but that... You know, you know, here's the thing about vlogging, guys. Um, it's hard for me to make it interesting, the vlogging. Like, especially since I just sit at my desk the whole day. And I, I, I mentioned this to you guys before. Since I just sit at my desk the whole day for the most part. How, like, how do you make it that interesting, you know? Uh, and especially when it's sometimes stuff I'm not allowed to show to you guys. It's like, yeah. Unless I just make it a daily Q&A type deal. But, but we'll see. Where in China am I going? I'm going to Shanghai, my friend. Shanghai. And just for a couple days. A couple of days. So I'm going to this convention. I was invited to go to this convention. It's called uh, the, the International Comic and Gaming Expo. Or car, Comic and Card. I don't know. <laughs> but they, they, when I was there last year, they really liked how I did the panel. My panel that I was in. So they invited me back specifically just to give another panel. Uh, so I will be, uh, you know, I will be spending some time there meeting the fans, but the main purpose of me there is to give a panel, the, the, you know. So I've never been sent somewhere just to speak before, but that's pretty much it. So it's going to be a whirlwind. Uh, so I leave on Thursday. I get there, which would be like a Friday night. I would be landing there, and 
uh, ready for the con. Um, so two days at the con, then I go home. That's it. Very, very quick. Very, very, very quick. It's like I'm almost, I'm, a, I'm like traveling more than I'm actually uh, <laughs> out there. <laughs> That's a giant hen. Maybe the black will make it smaller. I'll fix the hand. I'll fix it. Because that's what I do. I fix things. Uh, okay. There you go. I should do the gym challenge. That's right. <laughs> I should do the gym challenge like Jazza. But unlike Jazza, I actually like that Jake Paul song. <laughs> no, but though I, I definitely should. I should definitely should. Uh, I haven't worked out in a while, guys. Um, it must look like it too. And I ate like crazy when I was in San Francisco. Holy cow. That In N Out. Love that In N Out burger. Love that In N Out burger. Holy cow. So let me just, uh, just looking back at the costume reference for, for this Batman here before I go ahead and ink it up. I might add like little details here, and I hope that's okay, uh, Andre. Get add like little itty bitty uh, details that might not be there, but as they say, we will chalk it up under style. Yes, Lucasfilm is in San Francisco. That's right. Always been in San Francisco. And again, I wasn't there specifically for Lucasfilm. It's just I happened to be in the area and and uh, because I was in the area, I told them I was going to be in the area and then they said, hey, come on the show because I was in the area. So Lucasfilm didn't fly me out or anything. I was there anyway. I was actually flown out for the Time to Draw show, the kids show. Um, but that was fun. My, my Time to Draw producers, uh, they came with me to uh, Lucasfilm. Who, and they, they, you know, they were they're long 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 time friends of mine so uh, we had we had a fantastic time there amazing amazing time really enjoyed it though the one part i wanted to see though I, like um like me and jonathan we're going to talk about this in our podcast i'm going to go in depth on my visit to lucasfilm and everything Oh, by the way, guys, if you have any questions, like uh, me and Jonathan, we're going to be filming a podcast on Monday. If you guys have any suggestions or questions for us, because the first podcast will be just me and Jonathan talking about uh, our comics career. So if you have any questions about my personal comics career uh, or even film career, uh, let me know and we're going to answer your question on the podcast. And then the second podcast, we're going to be talking about the Star Wars thing and then my, uh, my visit to Lucasfilm. We're going to go really in depth into my visit to Lucasfilm. So if you guys have any questions about that, uh, let me know as well. Um, uh, maybe not, well, you can in this chat if you want, but uh, I'll probably not remember. Uh, but maybe in, uh, maybe I'll do a specific video or, or when this video drops today, or not today, this, this video won't drop till probably Monday. Uh, maybe you could uh, ask your questions there and then we will read your handle on the, on the podcast and go from there, right? Okay, so. Have I been lifting? Does it look like I've been lifting, Reese? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, a master's in San Francisco in the end of August. Awesome. IHOP's great. I love IHOP too. Where will the podcast be uploaded? We are looking into it, but should be all your regular podcast uh 
uh, you know, holdings. Now, we're hoping with these podcasts that they won't be too, um, what's it called? Too uh, time, time restricting, okay? So we won't be talking about news of the week or anything like that. Uh, because we want these podcasts to be something that you can listen to either today or next month or next year and it would still work for you. So that that is the goal with these podcasts. But just something, uh, this will be a very artist-focused podcast-centric. You know, if these goes well, maybe we'll be going more into like uh, more general gaming news and comic news and stuff like that. But for the most part, these will be uh, more, these podcasts are more to help you guys uh, with your your comic book career more than uh, so that type of thing right so and you never know maybe down the line we'll open it up and invite some of you guys on as guests or whatever or have a fan of the week come on or whatever we're still working it out I I know it's going to be a big uh, what's called um oops I did the bat symbol wrong that's what I get for not looking up. Did the bat symbol wrong. Ah, boy. So we'll see. I create a hashtag for Twitter where people get. Yep, that's a great idea. Well, that's exactly what we will do for sure. What has been the hardest in your career? You know, I could answer some of these questions for you now, or you could wait for the podcast. <laughs> but I'll, I'll let you guys know right now. Um, that's a great question. So ask that question again, ready come later. Um, but uh, the the hardest was you know, again, it wasn't actually getting the job; it was keeping the job in terms of comics. Um, the The hardest was maintaining quality while on a deadline. That was the hardest thing because anybody could. Well, I don't say anybody, but you. Of course, the more time you have, the better your art's going to be, right? more time you have to work on a particular image for the most part the better it's going to look however what what happens when you don't have that time what happens when you have five pages due in two days you know that's that's when comic book artists really show what they're made of when they're hit with those kind of deadlines so that was the that was the hardest for me uh the um the, those deadlines and then maintaining quality work that was really tough and remains tough to this day remains very tough because this pen's drying out a little bit but that's fine uh, so is it going to be a live podcast probably not the first ones but uh, I, we are considering it. We are considering it. Uh, make, I'll probably make another YouTube channel or stream it from my um, my blog channel, um, and that way we could take live questions. And you know, also sometimes you guys, I know you guys will have questions once I go into my story a little bit. So, what questions are you raising? <laughs> Corrupted. <laughs> Um, Art Naza, if you weren't specific uh, with your 31 day challenge to say you were going to do a Fantastic Four piece you, all you said was Fantastic Four piece I will assume that the black and white would be finished so don't worry about that okay so you should be fine that's the case but if you did say that it would be colored at the beginning then that's different okay but if you didn't say you were going to be colored in the original video then you're you should be okay ever built a Gundam before yeah I have I have but just once uh, just once you think I would have a lot but uh, no I've only done it like once so did the bat symbol wrong oh. uh, let's see I'm going to China too yep no I've been to China last year I loved it I, I love Shanghai it's great it was just super hot though it's crazy hot over there so 
super duper hot super duper huh thank you Riddy Kung thank you uh, will you add facial hair to that Batman yep yep he's having facial hair because he's the dad the dad that's what makes him a dad he's got facial hair <laughs> Now I'm like like as I was looking at the pictures of Jeffrey Dean Morgan and he had quite a bit of hair. Now looking at the different Thomas Waynes, they, he it was more stubble. Maybe I'll just make it stubble. There you go. Reese has been building his first uh, Gundam. Awesome. Yeah, again, you would think I would have more, but I just I don't have the patience to do one. There you go. I don't really have the patience to. So I'm almost ready to get into the Sharpie area, guys. So just give me a second, and then I'm going to be doing filming my stand-up for the tutorial video. I'll work on this gun later. We'll get the black point first now. Okay. Uh, there you go. What's a Gundam, Merrick? Google it. <laughs> they are cool. But you think I again, you think of the I would be a huge model builder for Gundam. But again, I don't have the patience to actually go and wow well, those models. My inks are drying up. Okay, guys, just bear with me. I'm going to be, um, uh, what's it called, uh, filming my stand-up for the video. What time is 7 o'clock right now? So, again, I'm only going for another hour. Going for another hour, but hopefully I'll be able to finish this uh, in the hour just for Andre here so he could see it finished. And then, Andre, uh, we're, we're still, I should be sending this out to you probably early next week. Because I'm going to be sending it out with all the other prizes. So at least you know what it's going to look like. But and then it should get to you probably in about a few weeks. Okay, two, three weeks. All right. So just give me a second here, guys. This is just for me so I know where to cut. <laughs> okay, so I roughly outlined where I want everything to be. For the most part, I'm, I'm okay with uh, how everything looks. This hand might be a little big. But um, I'll uh, I'll work with that a little bit later. Try to figure that out a little bit later. Uh, so for the most part, I'm going to go ahead and start inking this with a sharpie. And keeping in mind the lighting's coming from this this side here. That's why I have the arrow here. So I'm going to actually go in with a thick marker and just fill in all the blacks. And once I'm done filling in all the blacks, then I'm going to go ahead and then do a little bit extra cross hatching and all that stuff to help bring. Uh, the entire piece uh, together here, but I'll probably keep this all in black here But I'll just work on the body here, and then I'll figure out what to do there. I left the gun. I left the gun for now I just left it as is for now, but uh, we will work on the other things first Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now Just waving to you guys. Hello. Hello. Hello <laughs> So let me grab my sharpies here, guys. Oh, do I leave my sharpies in the office? Let's see here. Let's pull up some reference here. Do 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 do. Okay, so we want the lighting to come this way here. So let's start underneath. 
the neck. It's interesting when you're not too sure about where everything's going to go. I want him to have the looking up feel to him. So I guess let's go to the chat. If you guys have any questions, uh, by all means. You know your question. Oh, my computer froze. That's not good. My computer froze. I don't know if you can see it in this. Oh, okay. It's 43 watching this morning. Look at that. New desk now. It's the same desk. Uh, Arnaz, I'll check a little bit later, or I'm probably going to get Jonathan to check it out. I probably won't be able to check it out right now. Okay, so imagining the light coming from this side over here, but at the same time, maybe I do want a bit of rim light on this side, so I'll probably have like a little white line, it goes like that, so. So when you ever see a line that goes like this, that's what we call rim light over there. not necessarily a must it's like, it's like imagine there's a light it's like a lighting trick that we we use in film so you'll see like a little hint of white along the side now usually when whenever we do that in film you we have a light that's like right behind you so you'll see like it's just a way to separate the uh the head from the background so it doesn't blend in with the back so we try to mimic that that's and that's what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to mimic that feeling Question is how much should I use here? Okay, okay, Amas, thanks for thanks for stopping by. By the way, guys, go check out Amasa's YouTube channel. The guy's way too talented for you not to. Go check him out. There you go. I just said that, Amas. <laughs> Don't have the shameless plug, I'll do it for you. coming if you want for sure man Dun -dun 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 -dun. 
Probably going a little slower than uh, how I usually do things, mainly because um, I'm still trying to think about how I want things to look with uh, each of these things here. Jacob, well, Jacob's asking um, any tips about creating original stories for original characters since you're doing an original IP. I got no character, I got characters, but no story plot. That, that's a toughie because whenever I create characters, I actually come up with the story first and I create the characters according to the story. Uh, that, that's always the toughest because, you know, uh, when I was younger, I would create characters that way, uh, just make something cool and then try to figure out a story. Um, it all depends on how good your writer you are, uh, Jacob, in all honesty. Um, like, I, admittedly, I'm not the best writer in the world. Um, like, I had a, uh, this new IP. That's what makes this one a little bit different than any idea I worked on. I, I did it that way. I came up with the plot first before actually going into the story. Or, I mean, you know, going into the design of the characters because I wanted the design to match the feel of the story. So, uh so I don't, honestly, I'm not too sure. That's a writer's question. Because <laughs> even even though I have an idea too, guys, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna bring a writer on to help me. I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna try to see if I can write this myself first. But most most likely, more than not, I'll probably bring on somebody to help me with my uh, with my words and make sure that uh, the story flows properly. For the most part, you know. better I messed up the uh, this the insignia here and I'll just make that work <laughs> yeah sorry about that Jacob I wish I could I could be uh, a better help but uh, not much of a writer not much like I like for like for me personally I got the plot down I know I kind of know where the story's going uh, but at the same time I do need someone to help me flesh it out so Probably call, call my some of my friends. Uh, one guy I have in mind I've worked with before, and he sold some properties to uh, to Hollywood already. We'll see. It depends on who I meet in the next uh, few months. Depends on who I meet. So we'll see. No, 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 no. I'm concerned. I don't know whether I should black in this whole part here or not. Ah, too late. I did it already. <laughs> Time is at four fourteen. Okay. Da, na, 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 na.
the X's guys means if, if you didn't already X's means I'm going to be filling in black so There you go. Hey Kyle, neither did I. <laughs> Kyle says, didn't expect the stream today, neither did I. So again, guys, this is uh, the winner of the um, of the uh, share share my video contest. <laughs> so this is for Andre again. Congratulations to Andre. Um, I hope you like it, dude. I hope you like it. You're liking it so far. Andre is online, by the way. I believe he's still here. Are you still here, Andre? Mm -hmm. Okay, here. There you go. Hi, Harriet. Harriet? Harriet. How you doing? Can I teach you how to shade or color? Sure. This is how I shade. But with both of them, the main tip for, for all of you, whenever it comes to shading and coloring, it's a lot easier once you figure out lighting. If you understand the way lighting works, things like bounce light, things like three-point lighting, all, like all of that, even one-directional light, then you'll be okay. Um, so the more you study about how light works, the better your shading and coloring is going, going to get. Like the way I'm shading it right now, I'm just not putting black for the sake of putting black. I'm understanding I have a light coming in here like this. I have a rim light coming uh, from the other side. So that's the most important thing. Understand your lighting. That's the biggest, that's the best tip I could possibly give you. So. Yum, seizure. Right? I could go for some chicken wings right now. I had some great uh, chicken wings. Uh, have I ever, oh, sorry. Here. Uh, Wendell says, have you ever tried to shade like Jim Lee with a brush and India ink? I have back in the past. Um, though, admittedly, right now, Jim Lee doesn't really do much uh, India ink now. Like, well, whenever I see him now, he's just doing sketches. Of course, Scott Williams inks his stuff with India ink. But this is very similar to how Jim Lee does his sketches now with uh, Sharpies, Micron pens, white gel pen. Very reminiscent to the way he uh, does his things now. But I haven't used India ink since a long time ago. I think since college, really. And here's the thing with India ink for me, personally, guys. I know me. I'm going to spill it. I'm going to spill it. <laughs> thank you, Helios. Thank you. Um, yeah, sorry, vegetarians. I I had some great chicken wings when I was in um, when I was in uh, San Francisco. It was like this um, what's it called a Korean style. It was Korean style um, chicken wings. They were delicious. They were great. It's very spicy. So, Harriet, I'm from Toronto, Canada. I'm in Canada. There you go.
right, so this will be blacked in. Okay, so I'm gonna have actually there's more here. So just figuring figuring out right now, guys, where where all the darks are going. Hi Matt, how you doing buddy? How you doing? So when you draw something complicated like Spider-Man, do you draw the head, hands, and feet to place the figure or do you always draw in the head, neck, shoulder, spine, etc.? Um, out of all those, I probably do the spine first. And that's something I learned from gesture drawing. I would probably, actually I would probably start with the head, actually. I take that back. Start with the head, then the spine. That's usually the process I go with. Head, then I do the spine to figure out the action of the character and then I would go in and rough in shoulders, hands, all that stuff uh, afterwards. That's usually my process whenever uh, whenever doing something like that. There you go. Favorite comic character? Um, uh, you know, Batman. Batman Wolverine. If you ask me who my favorite comic book character is now, which superpower I want to have. That's completely different. Uh, and I, I've, I've answered this question many times already, but for, uh, for you, Harriet, I, I, which superpower here, a power I want to have? I want to have uh, Jamie Madrox, the multiple man. I want the ability to clone myself so I can get more work done. <laughs> So my, that's why I said people say my answer is very practical. <laughs> it's a practical answer. Though, you know, if you were the Flash, you could probably do everything really fast, but. There you go. Oh, CGR draws the head last. Yeah. Well, here's the thing with drawing the head first. Uh, and, and, you know, everyone's different. If you're comfortable drawing it that way, that's great. Uh, but for me, I, I need the head to judge uh, the proportions because, you know, what they say uh, drawing uh, human people, realistically, it's eight heads high. Uh, superhero style, it's nine he heads high. So I need the head there to judge how big the rest of the body's going to go. So that's usually why I put the head first. So, But everyone's different. I'm not saying your way's wrong. Um, you know, and, you know it's, that's right, too. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Or there's no wrong or right. It's what you're more comfortable uh, working with. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. So... Draw the head first, or rather draw the torso first, depending on the pose and scene. Yeah, yeah, everyone's different, Jacob, however you want to work. So everyone has their method. By the way, guys, uh, I do welcome everyone to share their social media on the chat. Feel free. I won't ban you. Not a problem at all. I like, I, I like you guys encouraging each other. Speaking of which, are any of you guys drawing right now? I'd love to know what you guys are drawing. I probably can't check out what you're drawing right now, but I would love to know what you're drawing.
Can you teach you how to draw character's head mask in perspective? Um, if you check out, have you have you checked out my how to draw the human head video? Uh, hurry up! Have you seen that? Have you seen those that series? I do talk a bit about that uh, in those videos. But the main thing is, if you think of your, if you break down your character into basic shapes and then put those shapes in perspective, it's a lot easier. It's a lot, lot easier if, you, if you're able to do that. Um, that'd be my main advice for you right now. I can't really show you right now in a tutorial because I have to get this done. I don't have a lot of time and I gotta get this done uh, probably in about, I could try to get this done within 30 minutes, we'll see. Because I got a ton of things to do today, guys. I would love to stay, spend all day with you guys today, but I can't, so. Ton of, ton of, ton of things to do today. Let's see here. Okay. Manga character, awesome. Cthulhu piece, Rafi draws, awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I got to make his own character. Very cool. Oh, cool. I'm glad you like it, Andre. Glad you like it. That makes me happy that you're liking it. I'm just hoping I could finish in, uh, in the amount of time we have, Andre. Because I'm not uh, going to rush this for you. I want you to have a really cool piece to hang. Or wherever you're going to put it, of course. Drawing original characters, that's fantastic. Fantastic to hear. By the way, it, there's a lot of people on for this time in the morning. <laughs> Usually we have about 20, there's about almost 50 right now. So thank you. Uh, to all of you who are brand new to my channel, thank you very much for, for subscribing. And, and feel free to stop by and say hi in the chat. I would love to talk to you right now. Um, and a lot of people in the chat here, everyone's pretty much everyone's an artist. They're all encouraging each other. So get to know some of these people in the chat. They're, they're good people. So if you get the chance. So stop by, say hi. There you go. Uh, Reese is always drawing mechs. That's awesome. Uh, seventh, ko seventh coyote, coyote, sorry, drawing, uh, Ariana from Final Fantasy 15, pretty awesome. How can you win a contest? Well, I don't do these contests that often. Ariana, uh, this was a share my video contest that I had last month. So I don't do this very often. I've only done this once before. So it's not a regular thing. I might make it a regular thing, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, so just, uh, just stay tuned. I'll let you know. So I'm just going with this thicker Sharpie and getting the thicker blacks in. But this is like a standard commission, guys. If uh, like if you if I met you at a con, or though I am starting to sell these online, um, this would be a standard half body commission. And the amount of detail I put into a, a standard commission. Because sometimes I see commissions that some of these artists do, and you know. I, I could tell they, they just rushed something out. I don't I don't feel comfortable doing that. I want you guys to have like a finished piece, you know. How much time do I have? I might have to run upstairs quickly, guys. Get my wife to. Uh, she needs to take care of something quickly this morning. But. Mm-hmm. 
dude. Coyote. Oh, Coyote. There you go. Thank you, Luxbird. Thank you very much. He is the Thomas Wayne Batman. It is. That's why he has a gun. <laughs> As you can tell, guys, I'm just making up stuff. <laughs> Maybe I'm where I see all the all the blacks and everything here. So, no, this part of the cape here, a lot of it would be covered in black because of his arm. Now, stuff like this would have been a lot way easier with a brush. So yeah, so I'm going to China, and then um, I have TFCon, and then I probably won't be going anywhere. I'll probably be going back to San Francisco in August, beginning of August. Uh, not for Lucasfilm, uh, back for my time to draw a show again. And, and yeah, then I'm going to be do, doing a whole bunch of conventions, but most of them will be in Canada, uh, most, mostly Canadian conventions, guys, so... I don't know if uh, any of you are from Canada. Smells like Sharpie in here. Mmm, I love the smell of Sharpie in the morning. Okay, so I'm thinking about if it's time to do the cleanup. Still looking, thinking, looking at his face. I think I might do some more things for his face. So here. Uh, what paper would I recommend? As I use a normal A4 paper, it's proving to be problematic. It's, it's up to you. Uh, this is a Bristol board here. Um, depends also it depends on the medium that you use. It, it's all trial and error. Uh, for the most part, too, like this particular paper here, I'm, after doing all the Star Wars stuff, um, I think I prefer the smooth now over the uh, – because this, this has a bit of teeth to it. This paper right here. So – Totally up to you. I, I would just say experiment because everybody's different. What works for me might not work for you. So, and again, at, at Marvel DC, they give you a choice. You could use one where that's very smooth, or you could have one with a little bit of teeth to it because everyone's different in how they like to work. So.
could add a little bit more black to this, guys, and then I'm gonna do another filming for the stand up and then uh, come back to the chat, okay? All right. There's 50 people watching. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so just give me bear with me, guys. I'm just gonna film a stand up. That's why I go like this. There we go. Okay, so here is uh, blacking out the major, major blacks here. Um, so uh, right now I'm going to go in and start doing some uh, cross hatching. Um, as you can tell, my uh, my style is very uh, David Finch like, uh, Jason Paybach like. Um, it's what I like, especially with Batman. He's very a very dark, brooding character, so it connotates that type of style, and it's the style I really like to do. So I'm going to go in, uh, probably with a two or a three uh, micron. I'll uh, probably take a three and uh, start adding in some cross hatching to everything. And pretty much the cross hatching is more just to reinforce the way the lighting is. So again, the lighting's coming from here. So I want hatching that kind of reflects that. Okay, so what is hatching? It's really a gradation. It's showing gradation with the uh, with the light. So it's like the light is going around this particular surface. So that's what I'm trying to get. When it comes to my hatching, I'm trying to get a little bit thicker bottom here and then have it lightly come up like so. Maybe I'll add just a few more lines just like that just to kind of finish that off. So I'm going to do that with everything just to get the feel. that The light is coming from over here and going around these particular surfaces. So I don't just add lines just for the sake of adding lines. There's a purpose to all these lines here. And the purpose for these lines here is to get that feeling of light wrap, light wrap going all the way around the particular character here. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, cross hatching in this particular direction, and then uh, we will go forward from there. Okay. Okay, what would you prefer if your man an anatomy goes wrong? Comic Stand asks. Um, well, that's the whole point of sketching it out. Hopefully, you can make it work by then. Hopefully, by this particular stage here, you are able to figure out uh, if your anatomy works or not. But the best thing to do is always take a step back. Sometimes take a step back once you have all your anatomy in or your main character drawn. Take a step back. Look at it from a distance sometimes. Look at it in a mirror and see if it always looks correct. A mirror is always a great check. If you have a mirror, you could always check if something's off in the mirror. If it looks off in the mirror, because sometimes, if you're whether you're right-handed or left-handed, sometimes you have your your eye. Um, it compensates for the other side, so you might not even know it. But maybe your drawing's a little. Uh, um, slanted a bit to the right or left depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed and you won't know that unless you are actually looking in a mirror and uh, when you look in the mirror like you'll see actually how a, a person who's left-handed will look at your drawing and then you could tell oh, okay the um it's called the drawings leaning a little bit to the right so i actually have a feeling the drawings especially when it comes to the eyes sometimes the right eye is like down a little bit i, I noticed for mine so i do my best to avoid that now a trick that I used to do when I was drawing comic books, I, I learned this from a great artist, her name is Jo Chen, what she used to do, she would actually lay out her comic book pages, she would lay them out um, uh, behind the paper, behind the paper, so she would actually sketch it out behind the comic book paper itself, and then she would light box that, like so she would actually draw it in reverse, and then light box it to the other side. And what that does, it, it helps eliminate a lot of those anatomy problems. So it was an interesting trick. I did that when I was working on uh, Birds of Prey for DC. And it, it helped a lot. It did help a lot. So. Yeah, so w welcome everyone who's new. Welcome everyone who's new uh, and who's old. <laughs> Now, uh, to let you know, like this is a community. 
uh, this whole uh, we, we call this a virtual studio this is a community um, if any of you are interested in drawing and want help because a lot of these guys are very helpful with each other and and that's one thing I do love about this community everyone's trying to help everyone achieve their art artistic dreams uh, I have two chats going uh, one on uh, the platform called discord okay and that is live now so if you guys want to be a part of discord uh, maybe ask one of the people here in the chat to help you get started with discord uh, but I'd love for you to hop on there and everyone's helping each other out already there or you could join the virtual studios um, virtual studios uh, Twitter chat and there people are also uploading artwork and critiquing each other you know I do it the best I can but these guys know I haven't been on recently just because I've been uh, so busy with all of these uh, things going on like I, I have so many things to do before I uh, go to China next week so next week I will be st streaming a lot maybe even this weekend I have to get another most detailed drawing ever done before I leave I'm not bringing it to China but I do need it done for TFCon which is the next week so I need to give my colorist time to finish coloring it um, beforehand so I'm going to be doing a most detailed drawing ever of uh, Devastator so that is uh, gonna start this weekend okay so if you guys are around this weekend uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of live drawing with you you guys so so we'll see but yeah if, you, if you're new here I would love to meet you so please uh, stop in the chat say hi say hi let me know what you're working on or let me know your goals in life if you want to be a comic book artist if you want to work in film uh, you know Yeah, French. French is, uh, well, French, depending on how old you are. Yeah. Every language is uh, pretty tough to learn for me personally. Though they do say if you already know another language, it's a lot easier to learn other languages if you've already learned a different language. But I do remember, because I'm a Canadian, we have to learn French in school. And, um,. But we only required to learn up to grade nine, I believe, and then you could stop. But knowing a second language is definitely helpful for a lot of people. So I know little. No, I don't even know that much French, just a little bit. I know how to conjugate verbs. There you go. Je suis tout et il est, elle est, nous en vous êtes, ils ont, ils ont. Canadians are laughing very hard right now. <laughs> That's what we learn in Canada. Je suis tout et il est allé. Accent aigu. Would you? Would I ever draw my own comic book? Uh, the answer is yes, absolutely. In fact, um, uh, as a lot of you guys know, I'm, I'm de currently developing my own IP. Uh, we'll see how realistic it is to get release it on my birthday. My my whole point was to release that on my birthday next year. Um, now, what form it's going to be in, it'll probably be some sort of hybrid comic book, but video form as well. Like it's a very, I want to try different things, and there's so many new out, outlets for everything that I want to try it, so. So we'll see. Hopefully you guys could see how I so this is how I go about doing all my commissions guys so it's a lot of fun a lot of fun for sure back in black that's right George that's right anyone here who is good at drawing manga not me <laughs> What time is it right now? Oh, 7.46, guys. I want it to be done this by 8. I probably won't be... Well, I'm, 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 I'm not stopping till I finish. 
but I do need I think I do need a hard stop roughly around 830 ish because uh, I promised my wife today um, I'm gonna get a lot of errands done today so But again, guys, watch out. Today I have a very special video coming out. Today, especially you guys, who because I think a lot of you wanted to do comic book covers. And um, today I'm going to explain my process on how I do comic book covers. Because um, I just uh, I just recently did a few covers for IDW, and one of them I filmed completely, my process. So you guys could check that out. That's going to be coming out later, later today. Okay, so check that out when you can. Hopefully you learned something. I'll make a color version of this one. Probably not. Probably not. Uh, more because of time. I would love to, but I got so many things going on. Right now, now I might do some little fun things with this. There you
Is it better? There you go. Sorry, guys. Can you hear now? How long was that audio out? How long was that audio out? Was that out for a long time? That audio? Apologies, guys. No sound. No sound. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. It just, just came out. Two minutes? Okay, sorry about that, guys. Apologies, apologies. I forgot what I was talking about. Ah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so. time is it anyway 7.53 I don't I don't uh, what's it called uh, what's it called I don't, I don't have a lot of time here so I'm gonna try to rush to finish the rest of this off mainly because I don't have a lot of time I gotta like I said, I have so many things I need to do today. But I wanted to get this out of the way because it's been uh, too long. It's too long. There you go. Now I could go uh, full on David Finch and start cross hatching. So I would draw lines that go like this, but I probably won't. So I guess just having some fun putting in these little extra details here. Okay, so I still need to draw the gun in. And probably take a thicker um, thicker micron to add in just a bit more detail to some of these things. I think what I might do, I might do the brick wall thing. I might do the brick wall thing here. Let's see here. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you very much. Welcome, James. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you guys for your nice comments. You guys are the best. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to finish this off. So I just need to draw in the gun. So we are almost there. This is, now, usually a commission like this, I would take two hours tops. Two hours tops I would time myself saying at the two hour mark you know um, I'll start wrapping it up no matter where I am in the drawing that's why I want to make sure I have concentrated areas of detail so that uh, you know won't feel like I uh, you know rushed it or anything but as long as those concentrated detail areas of detail look good then we should be in good shape for everything Grab a, a thicker micron. Let's 
so we're almost at the two hour mark in the actual streaming side now this I might I might separate this from the because uh, right now I have a tape down I might turn this around grab my eights here thank you PJ thank you very much can I ask uh, Dermondi is having uh, Dermondi is having uh, trouble with the stream is there anyone else experiencing that problem is it is everything really choppy for everyone else Just adding some more little streaks here. So also, guys, with with that, um, I will be doing some things for StarWars.com. So you will still be seeing me doing some Star Wars stuff on here, probably more Rebel-centric stuff, but it won't be the whole channel, of course. It won't be like 100%. Star Wars, but do expect weekly Star Wars content from me from now on. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, Darmani, maybe, maybe it's your internet connection, maybe. Uh, but so, sorry for calling it out. I just want to make sure that if it was a main problem for everybody, I, could, I should, you know, maybe it was on my end. But I'm hoping to get also get back to daily videos. But I, I always say that, so it's seeing is believing. So <laughs> if you see it, believe it. All right. So yep, Clone Wars and Rebels. I'm probably going to concentrate mostly on um, Rebels stuff because I haven't drawn that uh, prelate. So next week I'm going to be drawing a Chopper and then Ahsoka. That's one of the things. So I'm going to be drawing that next week because I want to get a couple of those out before I leave for China next week. Uh, but I will be, we will be doing fast draws again. I'll probably be doing one on Sunday. Um, and yeah, and then the, the podcast, the podcast what we're doing next week. So a lot of things going on, guys. A lot of things going on. Let me just uh, grab my straight edge here. Um any straight edge would do am i going to live stream tomorrow we'll see i'm not exactly sure i don't know really coming i wish my streaming schedule was a bit more regular but as of right now i am not sure so i'm just gonna make up a gun here i'm not even looking at reference You know, when uh, I was working in, um, I think I mentioned this before, when I was working at Ubisoft, we actually had a like a weapons expert. He was uh, like on the animation team, and he was the guy we would run everything through because, as you can imagine, a lot of, because um, I, I was working on Splinter Cell, and a lot of fans of Splinter Cell, they're gun aficionados, so they know when something's off, they know when something doesn't work, and they will call you out on it. So we needed a, a weapons expert, so... I was designing some uh, weapons and like there were little things I would see in references didn't know exactly what they were for and I would put them in and then he'd be like oh that's that's not that shouldn't be there that shouldn't be there this doesn't go here this goes over here you know that type of thing so people keep really picky about their weapons <laughs> I made a smoking gun why not yeah, let me just finish off this edge here Oh boy. Ruler time. Ruler time. Okay. 
So let's finish. I'm gonna finish this off the way I usually finish off my uh, commissions. there guys almost there just thinking just thinking all right okay uh, which companies have I worked up till to this point can you say something about each of them thanks in advance um, okay and again I get to mention more about this on the podcast that will probably be the first podcast but I will go through everyone in detail really but I worked for pretty much every major publisher there is I worked for Marvel I worked for DC I worked for Top Cow I worked for uh, Dark Horse uh, IDW uh, most recently who I still work with today uh, IDW um, ins instead of going individual let me just tell you um, with all of them I've, I've received payments from all of them okay so uh, some w it was harder to get payment from than others and then one um, it was hard to get payment from but uh, I think there was a misunderstanding that's pretty much why uh, the only one where it was uh, ex you know it was really really tough to get paid and had really trouble getting payment from it was from uh, a couple of companies from one from Dreamwave uh, an older company way back in the 2000s it's called, one called Dreamwave and then the other one well, a lot of them were like individual companies I had trouble getting paid from. Like uh, there was this one company called 3H Productions. They did uh, these uh, Transformer one-shots and um, I think they went bankrupt. So they never paid me that one time. Uh, but Dreamwave, I was able to get all my money because I was smart about it. But I'll go into that more in depth in the podcast. But uh, of course, the easier companies to work with are the bigger companies like Marvel DC. Uh, you'll get paid on time there and you know there's usually no no hassle no worries when you get to the bigger companies but for the most part you know it's, it's all good but i'll go into that a little bit more in depth in, in the podcast so there you go there you go when is the podcast happening uh, we are going to be filming our first podcast episodes next week Probably on either Monday or Tuesday uh, for release at the end of the week. Okay, so we're just doing one podcast a week Just to start off just to just to see how it feels uh, You know, we're gonna take our time with it. We, we want it to be good We want it to be something that you guys could listen to when you're drawing or whatever Just just me and Mark because me and Mark have been uh, uh, Jonathan as you guys know me and Jonathan have been friends forever forever and um but, you know, we haven't talked in quite a while, so we have a lot to catch up on, too. So we thought it would be fun to catch up uh, with all you guys listening. And, you know, I, I think it would just be a fun experience. So we'll see. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to film a bit of a stand up here first, guys, and then uh, we will get back to it and finish this off. Okay. This is my stand up. Okay, so I put in all the blacks here, and I, I started doing all the cross hatching here. So again, I'm doing the cross hatching like the lighting's coming this way. As you can see, I also did a gun here. Uh, didn't really look at any reference for the gun. I just kind of drew it uh, as is. So I'm almost done this now. To finish off a commission like this, pretty much what I like to do is, uh, especially since it's Batman, it doesn't need that elaborate of a background. But I will do one of those framed backgrounds. That's what I'm going to do for one of these and then fill it in black. It's just a nice way to kind of finish off uh, a piece like this. It gives it that finished uh, quality whenever it comes to it. And then I might do something very, very special here with this Batman. But 
even before then sometimes I like going in and adding these little nicks here like this I get this from uh, Stephen Platt does this a lot even even Dave Finch does this uh, quite a bit but what this does here adding these little dots here like so it just gives it that uh, dirty feeling it gives it that feeling that uh, you know okay the suits not perfect type thing so I like adding little bits like that randomly you know little nicks here and there sometimes the colors would actually go in and, and uh, you know make indentations with these so it's just a way to you know give a little bit of texture to uh, to these surfaces here but that's a stuff I like so now I'm gonna go in and then ruler this out black it in and we are pretty much almost done there might be a couple things I will do just a little bit special here but I'll show you guys that in a second so let's do that this means <laughs> back to the truck part <laughs> so guys I wasn't kidding let me show you guys what I do here to finish off a commission like this usually add a border to it okay so now what I will do is I will actually outline this oh, I might uh, blend them in actually looking at it right now no I won't I'm gonna go like this around like that Okay, so pretty much I'm just doing a outline. This helps me when I fill it in the black. So I won't uh, actually hit the character here. But you gotta also be careful with this white line. Yeah, I don't want it to be too uh, too thick. Because that could uh, have people's perception of the actual characters being thicker than what it is. So, okay, so from here I'm gonna go in here like this. And I'm gonna draw a line. I go straight across like this. I'm just going to eyeball that it's straight. Maybe a little bit more. If it's okay that I'm off because I'm going to cover it. So roughly around there. Maybe something like that. Okay. And I'm going to draw a line that goes straight down like this. Good thing about this Batman, it's uh, it's covering most of it. So, like that, and then down across like this. Okay, so maybe I'll just start with this one here, just because it's the easier one. Just like so. And I'm going to finish off this line here. Just like that. I go around like this. So again, when I do something like this, this, this kind of finishes it off, makes it nice for framing, you know, to whoever wants uh, to, to do this, you know. I go... Will I sign it? Of course, my friend. Of course. I can do this without signing it for you, my friend. And I might even sign it in white because it's in black right here. So I just hit my gel pens over there. Yep. Andre is excited because this is for him. Go ahead and fill this in like so. Just 
So I actually have a, a ton of commissions to do. I'm going to do a bunch of them next week uh, for you guys. I'm going to do a lot live, but I got a ton of commissions to do. But mostly, mostly, well, mostly Transformers related because I'm mostly known for my Transformers. Uh, and, and they're for TFCon. A lot of them are picking them up at uh, TFCon. So some half bodies, some full bodies. So you guys could see my full body process as well. Almost done, guys. Almost done. There we go. Almost there, my friends. Almost there. So, Andre, um, I'm going to make this a video for next week. This is going to come out as a video for next week. Let me know uh, what you want me to plug. If you want me to plug anything or if you want me to show any of your artwork, I'll be more than happy to throw that into the video. Okay? Okay, and that's for anyone who gets a commission from me. If you buy a commission from me, I'll be more than happy to promote your, if you have a YouTube channel or if you have an Instagram or anything, you want me to show some of your artwork, I will actually show that if you uh, purchase a uh, commission from me more than willing to do that for you okay so same with you Andre if you want me to promote uh, your Instagram or whatever absolutely my friend now a couple of things to finish this off okay hold on I'm gonna I'm gonna actually uh, film this but here we go here we go hold on. this is my symbol for it, so I know where to edit okay a couple of things to finish this off um, I because uh, we're almost there as you could tell I blacked in the the background here so it's almost done Just a couple things to finish it off I got my white out here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add some speed lines they're going like this so I'm gonna make sure my white off works first let me just make sure it's gonna go off here into the side and it does I gotta do little things like this I'm gonna do this watch this so little speed lines and I bring the action but you gotta be careful like worst comes to worst, if I mess up, I could black it out, but. I just wait just to add a little bit more action. A little bit more drama to this. Something I picked up from uh, the man himself. Jim Lee does this a lot. Oops. So. Just like so. And if there's any corrections, I would actually go in and kind of black that out. And I just need to sign this at the bottom. I might sign it. I might not black this out and then sign it in black. I'll probably do that over here. There you go. That's the important thing, guys. Remember to make it let it dry. <laughs> I didn't let it dry. <laughs> do I sell by drawings? I do. I do. I'm actually going to be opening up a store very soon. Um, I'm just preparing all my original artwork. I do. I do sell most of my drawings. And uh, from now on, too, every drawing that you see me do on my channel, it will be up for sale um, in my store. I might actually get rid of this line here. I'm not liking this line here. Just 
just like that. Okay, so one more thing I'm gonna do here, just so I could sign it, I'm gonna black this out just a little bit more. Just so I can do it. Uh, if you want to know uh, my commission prices, uh, message me on Facebook. Go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash the box office artist. Um, I have my commission rates up there. And always free to do commissions. There you go. And again, guys, if you guys want to grab a commission from me, more than willing to plug your YouTube channel, your all your social media, even show some of your artwork in the final video. So, but all my commissions, they I, I draw them live, and I put them up on YouTube after. Okay, so I I, I put up the YouTube video after. So this particular one here, uh, the um, what's it called? The YouTube uh, video will be out next week, more like as an instructional video. But you guys will see how it goes. So just add one more line like this. So you're going to be seeing a lot of these commissions from me because I have quite a few on the back burner that I need to do. So some are really interesting. I have this really, really interesting one. But it's a surprise. So also uh, go to my Twitch channel, guys. Uh, subscribe to my Twitch channel because there are, will be a couple because. Uh, there, there are surprises for, um, like, a, one, it's a wife trying to surprise her husband, and uh, he watches my channel, so <laughs> I got to do it somewhere else, so there you go. It's a little girl here. So there you have it. That is the finished, uh, that is the finished commission sketch. Uh, for my friend Andre Olinick. Uh, so first of all, congratulations to Andre. Uh, he won the uh, win the original art contest that I held about a month ago, and that uh, this is his prize. This is what he won. Oh, one more thing for you, Andre. One thing I wanted to do, and let me make it just do very very quickly before I go, because this is a rebirth Batman. We just do a little something like that just for you. Because it's a rebirth Batman. A little bit of red there. What the heck? Let's give him red eyes. Because <laughs> it's pretty red up there. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So just for you, Andre, congratulations. Now, Andre, if uh, he wanted me to show you art, I'm going to show you some of his art. Right now, go follow him on uh, Instagram. I'll put that hand, his uh, Instagram handle up, and there you go. So congratulations to Andre. If you would like, any of you would like a commission done by me, I'm starting to do more uh, commissions now. Go check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash theboxofficeartist, facebook.com slash theboxofficeartist. There I have my commission rates, and uh, just message me there, and we'll talk. Okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, me putting together this particular um uh, this particular image please do let me know in the comments below and any suggestions you would have please do let me know as well this was a lot of fun please continue to follow me on social media twitter snapchat instagram at box office artist facebook.com slash the box office artist twitch.tv slash box office artist and my name is james i'm the box office artist i'm here to say keep drawing and i'll see you all next time take care everyone now uh, for everyone here on the chat that was just my uh, ending <laughs> for my video as you guys will see on the video there you go. So, uh, any um, uh, any uh, questions, guys? You guys have more questions before we call call it a day? How do you get good? A lot of practice. A lot of practice, my friends. A lot of practice. Uh, so, <laughs> there you go. I fooled you. I'm done, but I'm not done. Okay, so, Andre, this will be in the mail. I'll probably mail this out next week. Okay, I'd love to mail it out today, but i got a few things to do today. And I want to make sure that... Um, I want to make sure that I set it out with the other prizes because I have to send out a lot of prints.
as well. So all of you guys, if I owe you a print, if I owe you a print and you know who you are, again, ap apologize for not sending it out yet, but I will be sending it out uh, next week. Okay, so once I do, I will message you guys uh, right away. Okay, so how do you get good at Dark Souls 3? Same as before, practice. There you go. <laughs> So let's call that a stream. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. Why well, won't I call it the belt red? Because, uh, ah, uh, uh, you know what, what, what the heck. I'll do that very quickly here for you. I don't usually do this, but I will do this for you. Just for Andre, because Andre's cool. I will call it the belt red. Hold on, guys. My daughter's coming. Hold on, am I? I'm filming. <laughs> That's my kid. <laughs> oh, James says my uh, commissions are affordable. Then you could really get one. Then. <laughs> Thank you, James. Now, I don't usually color my commissions. Okay, it's very rare. Actually, no, I never color my commissions. But Andre, if you're lucky, you're the first one I'm actually coloring. Kind of not very good coloring. This would probably be easier if I had a marker. <laughs> Just a little bit for you, Andre. See, I'm not even adding tone to this. I should add some tone. Like for example, it would be darker than these spots here. But I won't go too too crazy. Just a little bit of tone for you, Andre. Just a little bit of tone. Just a little bit of tone, a little bit. There you go. So there you go. There you go. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Can I do a Batman impression? This is my Batman. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, I just saw that uh, someone very special is watching my stream. So thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you <laughs> for watching, Paul. <laughs> So that, that is my Batman. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Uh, so I'll be back streaming probably, hopefully tomorrow, because I got I to gotta get that um, Devastator done. But I also really, really have to get going on a lot of these commissions, get going on them. So, yeah, and I'll do it all live for you guys. Watch out for my new video coming out later today on me putting together my, my – by the way, you could Google it right now if you want. It's uh, uh, Transformers Till All Are One. Transformers Till All Are One, issue 11. And that's the only reason I could put it out uh, right now. It's uh, uh, it's out already, right? Or it's not out already, but it's in previews. So that's the reason I could actually put that particular video up. I filmed it in May, actually, that video. So you guys could watch it finally. Uh, going on. Okay, guys, so let's end this off before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You guys are the best. Thank you for everyone for joining uh, online in the stream. You guys are amazing. Uh, let me just uh, message my friend here. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, guys. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for watching. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, how do I stop this thing? It's been that long. <laughs> Congratulations, Andre. Congratulations, Andre. I'll talk to you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>